environmental concerns and economic ones. We sent John Keller to an intergenerational Earth Day event in Boston to find out. Must have been interesting. John, what did you learn? Well, Paula, Jonathan, I learned that with some exceptions, our current political leaders prefer to pretend there is no such conflict rather than confront it. But I also learned there's hope in the form of a younger generation that prefers not to play pretend. The planet is running a fever. There are no emergency rooms for planets. Familiar political rhetoric was on display at this Earth Day event, ostensibly designed to encourage dialogue between teenage aquarium interns and dignitaries like U.S. Secretary of Energy Ernest Moniz. But once the polls got rolling, the dialogue fell by the wayside. And when we asked them to address the issue that all too often kills green initiatives, how do you sort out conflicts between economic priorities and environmental ones, most of the responses were boilerplate. History tells us that there is no conflict. Um, if you realize what we've been doing over the past 40 years, the economy ha has boomed while our pollution has gone down. Tell that to the local fishing industry embroiled in a bitter dispute with the feds over fishing restrictions. But when we put the same question to the teen environmentalists, we got notably more nuanced answers. Definitely step out of your own shoes and your own privilege and look at what other people have and I think that kind of common ground will allow you to come to this kind of compromise. I think a collaborative approach would be the best way to sort of fix a lot of these problems. When it comes to the environment, uh, it, they've, they've been so used to doing it one way over the course of time that all of a sudden now the federal government comes in with regulations and, and rules uh, kind of overnight in some cases and, and really hurts the industry. Uh, I think there has to be more communication with the industry. I know that certainly in my... Now keep in mind, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh comes out of a labor background where his job was to create work for his members by helping settle disputes between between business and environmental interests. Well, with conflicts like the fishing debacle and the Keystone Pipeline battle proliferating, let's hope Walsh and those kids are the face of better times ahead. Hard to believe the other polls won't even acknowledge how polarizing these issues can be. From the mouths of babes, find a negotiable area that you can work from. And I really, they, I, I goofed just now. They didn't want to be called kids. They're <laughs> students. Of course not. Young and they're very bright they're as well. They, really they are, are young adults. All right, yeah. John, thanks very much. John, thank you.